Hi, question number five taken from June 2014, advanced level maths HSC P3. The complex number Z is defined by Z is equal to 9 root of 3 plus 9i over root of 3 minus i. Find, showing all your working, first part, an, an expression for Z in the form of r e to the power of i theta, where r is greater than 0 and minus alpha, minus uh, pi is less than alpha, less than pi. Uh, for the second part, the two square roots of z, giving your answers in the form r e to the power of i theta, where r is greater than 0 and minus pi is less than theta, less than pi. Okay, so let's do it. Now, <clears throat> for the first part, we have z is equal to 9 root of 3 plus 9i divided by root of 3 minus i. Okay, so first of all what we can do, we can factorize this by putting the 9 outside. We have root of 3 plus i inside divided by root of 3 minus i multiplied by the conjugate of the denominator, okay, which is then root of 3 plus i over root of 3 plus i. So, 9 root of 3 times root of 3 is 3. Root of 3 times i is root of 3i. i times root of 3 is root of 3i. Plus these two, you get 2 root of 3i. i times i is plus i squared. Divided by root of 3 times root of 3 is 3. Minus i times i is minus i squared. So, z so is equal to 9 into 3. i squared is basically minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 2 root of 3 i divided by 3 minus i squared. So z is equal to 9 into 3 minus 1 is to 2 and plus 2 root of 3i divided by 3 minus minus 1 to the square because, uh, sorry, minus 1 because i squared is minus 1. Therefore z is equal to 9 times 2 which is then uh, 18, 9 times 2 again is 18, root of 3i divided by 3 minus minus 1 is 4. That comes down to <clears throat> 18 divided by 4 is 9 upon 2, 18 divided by 4 is 9 over 2, root of 3i. Now we need to express it in the form um, in the form z is equal to r e i theta, power i theta. What is r? Okay, so if you imagine this is your triangle and uh, the real part is 9 over 2, the imaginary part, which is the y axis, is 9 upon 2 root of 3 i. <coughs> So this is theta, the argument. How can you find theta? Tan of theta is equal to the op opposite over the adjacent. 9 upon 2 root of 3 divided by 9 upon 2 times 1. So that comes down to root of 3. If you work out the tan of theta, theta is going to be inverse of root of 3. And therefore theta is going to give you pi upon 3. Right, so we know theta, and what about r? We can find r by using Pythagoras' theorem. So 9 upon 2 to the square plus 9 upon 2 um, root of 3 to the square. Work that in the calculator, you come to root of 8 and 1, which is 9. Therefore, r is equal to 9. Hence, the answer should be z is equal to r, which is 9, e to the power i theta, and the argument is um, <coughs> pi upon 3. So, pi upon 3, i, and here's your answer. Now, for the second part, we need to find the two square root of z. Okay. The first square root of z, <coughs> so n root of z, basically, we're looking for the square root of z. Okay, so what is the square root of z? 
is going to be the square root of what we just found, 9e to the power of i upon 3i. Okay, so the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of e pi upon 3i to the power of half. So that becomes 3e to the power of uh, pi upon 3 times half is pi upon 6i. So this is the first square root. What is going to be the second square root? Now we are told that the values will move from minus um, pi less than theta and less or equal to pi. So if we look there, we're looking at this, negative, all right? So suppose your argument goes um, here, this triangle, all right? This argument here, the, the angle, the, the argument is um, now pi up and 6. What is going to be the rest, the other part? So we should remember that this whole thing here is pi. So pi minus pi up in 6 is going to give us 5 pi up in 6. But because we're moving from negative, it can be plus or minus. We're taking the minus anyway because we got the plus for the first one, for the first one. And now therefore the second square is going to be 3 e to the power of minus 5 up in 6 i. And here we are for this question.